Hey guys, it's BB202, and I did not think I would be making another video so soon, because we've got one of the most surprising LEGO Castle news items maybe ever, and that is that a 3,200 piece medieval village set just out of the blue dropped on Instagram a couple days ago as part of a much bigger leak involving all sorts of sets. And this is kind of a disaster for LEGO because these sets look like they might be close to a year out release-wise, and they've been keeping a tight lid on leaks, especially in the last few years. Now, as much as I would like to show you a picture of this set, and some other people have uploaded it, I'm not going to because that's what got my last channel killed, and I'm not keen on doing that again. I am not sure how those channels still have those videos up, especially the higher profile ones, you know who I'm talking about, but if you want to see a picture of what I'm talking about, just pull that up next to this video. In fact, if you just want to click away and kind of listen to this as an audio type thing instead of a video, that's your prerogative. I think you'll be able to do that. Now what I can do for you is give you my raw, unfiltered thoughts, as always, I'm recording this pretty much one take. I'm going to tell you exactly what I think and we're going to see how it goes. Let's get into it. So the lead here is that LEGO wants to make more castle sets, and clearly the last few castle sets have been selling well. Those being the Black Falcon Creator set, the Blacksmith Shop, obviously the Anniversary Castle last year. Those have to have been selling well for LEGO to get this far along in development of a big set, 3,200 pieces. Now taking a look at the actual set, and I, I do want to be fair to them because this is a prototype, but you can tell it's a prototype. Even if those confidential stickers weren't there, it doesn't quite look finished. And where that jumps out to me is especially the building on the right, one of the bigger buildings. It just looks plain. It's missing a lot of detail. The torsos of the figures are clearly not final. And that's especially true in the case of the knights. You can't even see their heraldry. And that's gonna be, if this is a real set, of course, all provided this is a real set. It's going to be interesting going forward seeing what faction LEGO ends up choosing for those knights because if they're not wearing any crests right now, it, it might mean that they're making new torso prints because otherwise they would have just reused the existing recent Black Falcon and Crusader torsos. So some of us like those two factions a lot. Me, I'm kind of looking forward to some change and that could be a good step in the right direction right here. It's also kind of hard to tell exactly what kinds of buildings we're looking at here, but what I can tell you is since we've got at least three or four different buildings, they cannot all be a blacksmith. This is a big day in LEGO history because the only civilian building LEGO knows how to make, other than the occasional tavern, is a blacksmith shop. This is going to be great just for that reason alone. They are recycling the market idea from the medieval market village. You can see that in the middle of the square. I don't mind that at all. I think, you know, we've been long overdue for a fresh take on that. All good by me. I like the variety of animals. We've got a cow, we've got a horse, and of course, how could I forget, we've got the goats. I'm not salivating over the goats like some other people are. I know they go for astronomical prices on BrickLink. I don't personally own any goats, I think it would be nice to, but they're not exactly, you know, my holy grail. And the last thing I want to cover is how well this fits to scale with the anniversary castle that came out in 2022. I think it does. If you look at that guard tower on the right side of the picture, it looks in the style of that castle. I think the proportions are similar, and if you put these next to each other, they would be in scale. And I bring this up because the blacksmith shop is not even close to being in scale with the castle. They kind of look comical next to each other. And it would be nice to have two of the biggest castle sets LEGO's ever made be able to pair up with one another and look cohesive if you put them together. That said, I don't think there's any way for them to connect. As far as I remember, the anniversary castle doesn't have any Technic pins or ways that it could be connected to another set because, as we understood it at the time, that was supposed to be a one-off. But it doesn't matter. In the Middle Ages, these things didn't connect to one another. The village was actually quite a distance away from the castle. So, all historically accurate, all good by me. Once again, guys, if you want to see this picture, which, again, I understand is crucial to being able to watch and understand this video, just send me an email, send me a DM on my Instagram. I've got it on the screen right now. 
I will try to get that to you. Or if you go on Instagram and go under Lego Leaks, it shouldn't be that hard to find the hashtag. Otherwise, I want to thank you all for watching. Please let me know what you think about this set in the comments below. I will respond to you. I, there are a lot of things you could say about this, about the leaks that have come out recently. All sorts of stuff we can talk about. Hit me up. Thanks for watching.